what you see basketball players and I was stuff about do to that. Say that football players basketball players when they doing all this and we doing this since the 80s man yeah, we've been yeah. doing this way 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 back yeah. so, so now is, yeah see we yeah. trend set a lot of things that yeah. you know we, everybody don't get yeah. but that's what it is so y'all pretty much started doing too much yeah as right. they would say yeah. <laughs> 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 Energy, right? My guest is part of the legendary group Lost Boys. In 1995, the group released their debut single, Lifestyle, The Rich and Shameless, charting in the Billboard Hot 100. The release landed them a record deal with Uptown Records. They contribute to a single to Don't Be a Menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood soundtrack title, the legendary song Renee. The song became a major hit, breaking into the top 40 on the Hot 100 chart. The single also reached gold status in 1996. Back in January 16, 2004, my guest was also convicted of multiple bank robberies and was sentenced to 37 years in prison. He was released in 2021, the same year the group appeared on Nick Cannon's Wild Out on VH1. You will also see my guest and his group member, Mr. Cheat, on a legendary podcast, Drink Champs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome my guest, the legendary, the one and only, Spig Nice. All right, man, today we got a legend in the building here, the Miller Experience, celebrate 50 years of hip hop. One of the members of the Lost Boys, the legendary group Lost Boys, my man, Spig Nice. What's up, baby? Peace, peace, peace. Man, thank you, you for coming on the show, man. You know, I'm here, I'm here. South and Jack, baby. Before we get started, let's go ahead and nip this in the bud. You South Carolina or Queens? What, what it is, man? So, I'm South Carolina, an implant. I'm okay. from Queens, though. Okay. My parents and everybody, both sides of my family is from Manning, South Carolina. Okay. So, I've been coming down here since I was a kid, yeah. since I was a toddler. Mm -hmm. And basically, I came from Queens. I'm born in Queens. Mm -hmm. Came from Queens about hmm, 82, something like that. 81, when you 82. Born? Really? Mm -hmm. 69. Okay, yeah, yeah. You from Queens now. Yeah, right. <laughs> from Queens, right? Queens yeah. general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just came down here and went to school for a few years down here. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, went back home and said, I'm make some music. All right. Yeah, you feel better about that? We nipped it in yeah, the bud, no. baby. <laughs> 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 All right, man. I'm here. So, hey, man, tell people something about yourself, man, before we get into the music part. Tell them about, um, those things about you. Where you, you already told us Queens and everything. Sure. But how you, a little something people probably won't know, man. Just, just a little something besides you love music. I know you're big in the race cars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so let's talk about that real quick. <laughs> let's talk about that real quick. Nah, I mean, listen, I had three, rock, three R's when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. Like, I got of age. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to be a racer. A rapper yeah. and reefer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I guess what? I'm three of them legal now. Yeah. I'm trying, to grow. <laughs> I'm trying to grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that game about to come up. But, I mean, me, I, 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 I do what I do. I did what I did. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me, and my, me and my man, Eddie Blanner, like, like I said, when I was living down here, you know, we, we listened to. Run DMC, LL, Fat Boys, and all that stuff back mm -hmm. then. You know what I'm saying? And we was always acting like we was mixing and stuff. We had yeah. to remember that it was a tape recorder, mm -hmm. the little tape recorder with the red button and stuff like that. that. Yeah. We, we saw we was acting like we was scratching and mixing all that stuff, and you know, yeah. playing songs and stuff like that. So after that, I was like, man, I'm going home. I'm going to make some music, yeah. and that's how I just left Manning okay. and went back to Southside and put up with. Uh, Went to John Adams, seen Cheeks and them in the basement, in the, in the lunchroom, mm -hmm. and started doing a little beatboxing and playing on the table and stuff like that. Next thing you know, we was just started moving. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I started getting equipment, inviting them niggas to my basement, mm -hmm. and we just started making making songs and stuff like that. And that's how we translate. You know, we was Stay Fresh Crew. We had a bunch of names before we came up with Lost Boys. But Warren King actually is my co defendant yeah. now. <laughs> Waiting for him to come home. Yeah, Hurry up, yeah. man. But that's how we got the Lost Boys. We got it actually from their name, his okay. name, his crew. And then we just, I, I just changed it. 
with the Z and stuff like that. Yes. So I'm original. I'm original. <laughs> original person that had the Z. All this worldwide stuff with the Z's. You started that, that. be me. That's what I'm talking about. That be me. I'm claiming that. Because I was doing that since 84. Like when I left from here. And I went back up top. Okay. I got that from my homegirl from down here. But she's from Connecticut. Shy Rock. Um, she was, um, she, was a, she did graffiti and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So I always try to do that stuff with her. Yeah. And she changed a lot of letters and stuff like that. Yeah. So I got upside down eyes, if you see that on my stuff, or you see, like I said, I changed S's to Z's. Yeah. And now it took maybe 30, 40 years. <clears throat> but the world catches on. Yeah. <laughs> the world caught on the Z's yeah. now. So you don't see. You pretty much answered my first two questions, man. I mean, straight off the books. I mean, I'll just. Who is Dollar know? Bill? Which Dollar Bill? Hmm? Saw something about on Drink Champs, you talk about Dollar Bill. Uh, all right, there's a Dollar Bill. We had an old, a old, a old head mm -hmm. that me and Cheeks and all of us, and all, everybody from, he from Linden and Van Wick. Mm -hmm. He was OG and stuff like that. He used to school us and things like that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He got, he got um, rest in peace Dollar Bill, you know what I'm saying? He That's got killed and stuff like that. At the Owl, the club that's in Queens and stuff like that. A little hole in the wall. So. Oh. He was doing, you know, showing his cats how to come up, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much the big homie, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's one of them. What's the story behind a legendary LB handshake? Oh, man. I mean, like I said, when me, Cheeks, Lou, Green Eyes, Baby Man, all of us, when we, like our group, mm -hmm. when we used to greet each other and stuff like that, you know, we just came up with something, like a regular handshake, and then it started trending what they say now trending trending yeah it was like we do it and then you had other cars they seeing what we doing and i was was like our handshake was pretty long yeah but then when it came to going to jamaica ave in front of the coliseum you got everybody starting to emulate and yeah. do it and be part of the lost boys and then the lost boys family got big and started yeah. lb fam and just multiplied into the hundreds and stuff like that so what you see, basketball players and I stuff do that. I was about to say that. Football players, basketball players, and they doing all this. And we doing this since the 80s, man. Yeah, We've been yeah. doing this way, 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 way back. Yeah. So see, now it's, yeah, see, we yeah. trend set a lot of things that, yeah. you know, we, everybody don't get. Yeah. But that's what it is. y'all so pretty much started doing too much. Yeah, as <laughs> they would say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, now you see. Gang, gang members and all types of stuff. Yeah. You see a lot of people doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't taking away from nobody that's doing it because everybody does their own thing yeah. and stuff like that. But when we did it and... They talk your shit, man. Y'all don't want to start it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Like, we yeah. did it when we was 15, 16, 17. Like, like we did it when we was teenagers. And we 50s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we in the 50s now. So <laughs> imagine how long we've been doing it. And then it, we had a guy... It was a long thing, but now it got shorter. Yeah. I, had, I, I, I got a, uh, when I was locked up, uh, one of my homegirls sent me a news article, mm -hmm. and it said, uh, Spig Nice, a gang leader of over 5,000 members and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. And he was also talking about, I ain't no gang member, but mm -hmm. they was also talking about the handshake and different handshakes that we had yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. But we was like, we only did from the long one to the short one. Yeah. But they're saying that, it's different levels to it. Yeah. I was like, what are these kids doing out there? I'm locked up. I'm like, what are they doing yeah. out there? Yeah. They're changing nothing. Walter Cronkite, and if you know Walter Cronkite, he was an old uh, journalist and yeah. stuff like that, did the wars and everything like that. I had the article, but then I let somebody see it when I switched jails and stuff. And that was I that. Got it, <laughs> I can't even find that joint, so. It's all good, though. This episode is sponsored by Aftermath Law Service and the Landscaping. Mowing, mulching straw, pressure washing, and more. You can call owner Edward Brown at 803-464-7605. Again, that's 803-464-7605. Jerome Robinson MMA, a Team Robinson MMA. A safe training environment that will enable students of all ages and backgrounds to grow physically and mentally. You can visit their website at www.imtmr.com for more information. Train so hard, University. 
where it's just not a movement, it's a lifestyle. You can contact myself, Excalibur Miller, on Facebook, on my Instagram, The Miller Experience, or you can contact my brother, T. Miller, on Facebook, or on Instagram, Prodigal Son 36. Interested in being a sponsor for Shop Talk or the Mill Experience, you can contact myself, Ernest Miller, at 803-565-9752. Or you can hit me up on my email at eaenestmiller83 at gmail.com. You can also make contact with my producer, Victor Wesley of Vic West Production. His telephone number is 803-225-0021. Also, his email address is vicwestp at gmail.com. You guys, man. Lost Boys, you guys made timeless music. I mean, global. I mean, like, as a kid, man, I remember Renee. We're going to get to that. Jeez. But that that was a classic right there, man. Tell me, how does that make you feel to be part of that? Especially 50 years from, you know what I'm saying? It, it feels good. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we, we, we a part of this 50 year history of mm. music and stuff like that. We just did, like, Rock the Bells just, like, a couple of weeks ago. Ah. We got some more things. We got something next week. Mm. Cheeks is still doing shows and stuff like yeah. that. So, I mean, the time that we put in, say, like, we put in that work. Yeah. Like, when I left here, mm -hmm. like, in 86, we got on, really. Y'all heard us in 96. Mm -hmm. So that was going from state to state, out the car, out the trunk, mm -hmm. going to studios, going to different barbecues and everything. You know what I'm saying? We was in the world. We was on foot and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So how it is today that you could be here just on a computer and then you get what they say, yeah. viral, viral and all this mm -hmm. other stuff and then you might be gone. Yeah. See, we put the work in that long. It yeah. took us 10 years. It didn't take us 10 days. Yeah. So all that time, you know, it's going to and make you something. By you doing that, it makes you cherish it too. It makes you feel yeah. more, more appreciative with everything yeah, you did and the hard work in. Because we, we was working. like. Mm -hmm. We go to colleges. We went to Norfolk. We went to Norfolk. Uh, uh, we we like took over Virginia because we also when we go to the, when we go when we go we party. Yeah. We have a good time. Yeah. And the vibe is like we want to be with them dudes. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. We want to yeah. party with them. Yeah. We had our own bus stop. Everybody do electric slide and all that stuff. We had our own bus stop. It it was like. You had to get down with us. Yeah. It's not like, I don't want to. If you was hating on the side like this, man. Niggas, just a man. hater, man. Just and then you'd be like, yo, yeah. them niggas is grooving, man. I'm going over there, man. Your man going to be like, man, I'm going over there. Next <laughs> thing you know, he got to drink you like this. Yeah, I'm over here. Yeah. So that's yeah. the vibe that we carry and stuff like that. So, I mean, like I said, it, 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 it's long lasting. Yeah. So that's our legendary <laughs> you know what so I'm saying let me ask you, did you feel torn when you guys are torn did you feel more love overseas or hip-hop wise mm -hmm. you felt like you guys were getting more love overseas or here in America it's always going to be a little bit more you're going to say cats is going to say overseas mm -hmm. it's only because now don't get us wrong in America you're going to get the love depending on where you at or mm -hmm. what state or this that and the third or, or east coast west coast midwest you were going to get love, you know what I'm saying, yeah. basically. <laughs> you going to get it everywhere, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. worldwide, exactly. Because yeah, yeah. when I went to, when we used to go to Japan or Germany and stuff like that, you wouldn't even expect it. They don't even speak your language. Yeah. But they appreciate it, and they love it more because they don't see us every day. Yeah. Now, I could go to North Carolina, and I, and I always used always to say the best, pers the best place that I went was North Carolina. Why is that? No, we always get a turnout. We yeah. at one time, shout out to Rock, Ray, uh, Ray Ramsey and them. We used to be there every week. Yeah. I don't care if we went to Africa. We coming right back North before we left. What part of North Carolina? Is it Pacific Island, part or just all over? All over, all over yeah, North okay. Carolina. We just yeah. all over the place. But it was just 
before we left Africa, we was in North Carolina. Yeah. When we came back, right back to North Carolina. Yeah. So we was there, like, developing music, rap in yeah. North Carolina. We was there doing this, that, every little hole in the wall underneath the rock, yeah. in the anthill, whatever, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we yeah, was yeah. there in the barn. We was yeah. up there, you know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. So it was like, but you go overseas, and it was like, they embrace you like, yo, it's about time. We got... Yeah. We got real music, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So we enjoyed it. I mean, Africa, <laughs> you name it, Brazil. Yeah. We had a problem I mean, with that Brazil. That feel good. You go overseas to <laughs> another area you ain't familiar with. You know, you don't, you never grew up from. They know your music. Mm -hmm. They they saying it word from word from their language. That got to make you feel good. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. That was made all gravy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially when people recognize. I, like I said, one time we went to uh, Japan mm -hmm. and. It was looking at us like people started taking pictures ch -ch 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 -ch. like they got yeah, yeah. cameras like this yeah, like yeah. damn like yeah. that was then that's yeah, like yeah. talking about 2000 yeah. like people ch -ch 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 -ch. like man they thought we was a basketball team i was like i'm not tall <laughs> <laughs> i'm like, that tall yeah, man yeah, yeah. but it was like you know it's big nice they know your names and wow. stuff like that yeah. they recognize who, who's who and stuff yeah. like that it's, it's out of country is like a different experience we always say over the pond but yeah, Where's the wildest place you ever formed? My destiny was strapped just to carry on. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Mill Experience. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Who told you being intelligent is whack? So place your bets. My faith is fresh. I'm gonna make it stretch. Cause I sat there eye to eye with the face of death. And you ain't putting work in unless you break a sweat. Bring it back a full course meal. Keep the table set. Step in my belief. I'm expressive when I speak. Swim back to shore. If you trying to tell me I'm too deep. Cause I was a stomach.